Welcome to the Stanford Lee Show, the place for song, story, musicology, and more. This week, The Whistling Ghost. Let's get started. So it's interesting how this song started. So, um, um, you know, sometimes I get inspired, but uh, this time it was more of a matter of uh, trying to solve a problem. I wanted a song like Ghost Riders in the Sky, and uh, I usually like to do originals or something that's in public domain. So I was looking for something special, and uh, I thought Ghost Riders in the Sky would be perfect for this episode. Uh, as far as I can tell, there's most of the versions we hear are a copy written version and i don't know i just wanted to try to find something you know another way that's part of the process of creating and musicology so uh, um, i had kind of earmarked this uh, uh, legend that i heard from uh, colombia and venezuela about uh, el sabo if i'm pronouncing it uh, correctly uh, some people say el sabon Anyway, it's a uh, basically a whispering spirit, a whistling spirit, a whistling ghost. The story kind of goes back to uh, uh, patricide. So there's this son, he uh, murders his father, and then the, then there's all kinds of stories from there. You know, it's like uh, okay, so the grandfather curses the son that mur murdered his father, uh, but we hear different versions of it, why he murdered his father. Um, there's uh, one version where uh, his father was going to go hunting and uh, uh, kill this deer because he, really uh, uh, he really liked that for dinner. I mean, really, it's kind of ridiculous. But uh, the father didn't bring anything back from the hunt. And so uh, the son, uh, it's terrible, the son ends up murdering the father. And uh, then I guess that's what they have for dinner. Uh, yeah, so you, so you get patricide, you get cannibalism. See, that's a pretty good story. But then uh, there's another dark story about, uh, well, he has relations uh, with the daughter-in-law or some other sibling. I don't know, but it's, uh, it's one of those kind of stories where, okay, so he, he commits this terrible sin, um, uh, kills the father, and then the grandfather takes revenge by whipping him and having him torn apart by dogs and uh, then cursing him. And so he wanders around with a bag of bones on his shoulders of um, these bones could be uh, uh, victims, it could be uh, uh, his father as well. So see, it's some real sick uh, psychological stuff going on there. I mean, Ghost Riders in the Sky has a great story about uh, uh, having to uh, round up the devil's herd basically for eternity. Uh, you know, and uh, the the cowboy, I guess, is compelled to repent for his way. So I wanted that kind of song. So I just kind of went through verse by ver verse by verse, trying to work out uh, uh, what El Sabon would be, and um, I came up with a song and uh, used kind of some of the uh, chords that would uh, fit into that kind of storytelling. So that's my process for that. So I guess there's kind of an inspiration from Johnny Cash. I had listened to uh, uh, some Colombian music like uh, uh, Lucho Bermudez and uh, some different uh, flamenco guitarists. And I'm just kind of getting familiar with that uh, type of music and uh, just wanted to throw a splash of that influence in there. But uh, I think the story turned out pretty well. You know, it's uh, it's got uh, you know kind of the tension and uh, you know the murder going on, and uh, you know really builds up uh, well into a chorus. So uh, I would have to give a shout out for uh, also the work of Morricone, the composer that's influenced so many Western films, and um, I would probably do more of a whistling part in the recording 
Um, I do play that little uh, funny instrument that I can show you, the uh, ocarina. It looks like a toucan. But uh, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy the story and uh, I'd like to perform for you uh, El Sabon. <laughs> His name fills us with fright His steps they are silent as he stalks you in the night No drunkenness and fighting, just silence tonight Daddy never made it home under the moonlight Concern and disbelief, neighbors filled with fear The violent drunk meets his fate and the children left in tears El Cibo. his name fills us with fright His steps, they are silent as he stalks you in the night Father's wrath and lust made this awful ghoul To play on the drunkards and ledgers and fools Long shadows cast by a shell of a man A bag of bones rests on his shoulders He wears a straight-brimmed hat, El Cibo. El Cibo's name fills us with pride His steps, they are silent He brings vengeance to the night El Cibo, his name fills us with pride His steps, they are silent He brings vengeance to the night Blackness of the evening Hear a lonely whistle Spirit dragging bones and bringing vengeance Strong drink and women make you an easy prey Better to repent or lock yourself away El Cibo, his name fills us with fright His steps, they are silent, he brings vengeance to the night El Cibo, his name fills us with fright His steps, they are silent, he brings vengeance to the night Strong drink and women make you an easy prey You're better to repent or to lock yourself away Neighbor, learn your lesson, time to change your ways Or your bones will be in his collection till the judgment day El Cibo, his name fills us with fright His steps, they are silent, he brings vengeance to the night El Cibo, his name fills us with fright His steps, they are silent, he brings vengeance to the night To the night, to the night Okay, so this is probably the part you've been waiting for uh, so, well, yeah, I like to buy things in pairs. Uh, these little cuties I got from uh, Costa Rica, and uh, they're actually ocarina, so uh, they're not all expensive instruments. Sometimes I just pick up things on trips. If you want to know more about some of my instruments, or uh, if you want to leave a comment, look below and check out our, uh, our page and give us a like. And uh, thanks a bunch, and I'll see you next time on the Stanford Lee Show.